Welcome back Biotechnicans to yet another important video regarding your CSIR net exam. Today's topic important books you must follow for CSIR net preparation. Yes, your key to CSIR net success can be attained when you refer the standard books that I'm going to talk about. So when we talk about preparing for these exams, the next thought would certainly be the perfect study material. While Biotechnica does provide study material which are very much relevant to your exam and tailored according to the flow of the syllabus, but additionally you need to refer these books so as to get a more detailed and in-depth concept because after all study materials are concise but books are something which have elaborate informations so choosing the suitable study material or the right book can be a bit challenging but i am here to help you from which all sources you will get the right information so that you can qualify csr net exam in one go now, do you know how valuable it is to use reference books for preparing CSI and Ed life science exam? Let's have a look at the significance. Why refer these books? It specifies every single principle clearly and sharply specified. So these books helps in improving your knowledge and makes you clear about the principles and, comp and the concepts. Second is these books are very comprehensive which comprise almost all the topics of the subject. Logically organized content. Each chapter in the book is precisely described. It completely covers all the topics with great details and they have effective ways to overcome students difficulty in preparing for the exams. The key points and the important concepts are also highlighted in these books, making you memorize the concept very easily. And as I mentioned, the crisp coverage of the syllabus and precise informations are also provided in these books. Diagrams, illustrations, images, tables, these are all included and flowcharts, uh, uh, illustrations. This will help in better understanding and quick revision as well. And the concerts are briefly explained, providing more conceptual clarity. Also. There are MCQs and questions at end of each chapters so that you can practice and increase your knowledge well. And additionally, the language also of the book is lucrative and understandable. As I said, it's very much organizable. So in short, these books allow the reader to understand the subject or topic very easily without any difficulty. The first unit will go unit wise, biochemistry, molecules, uh, biomolecules study. Yes, this is the Bible of biochemistry, which is uh, Leninger, Principles of Biochemistry. Why we use it? Because language is really very simple. Okay. And in case you want to go for a higher version, then you can go for Void and Void. Um, also, there is a book called as Stryer, so, uh, Biochemistry by Stryer. These are all uh, containing the information which you require to study this unit. Uh, example amino acids proteins enzymes all the basic concepts and apart from that there are advanced concepts also uh, which may be useful in the part c analytical questions right uh, i have also listed some other other books as well but i will mark the ones which are more important and uh, the ones which are more generalized which will contain uh, overall the concepts which are required in that particular unit. For example, there is a book by Palmer on enzymology, but that will mainly go into much depth of enzymes, which is not so much required, right? And nonetheless, in all these books, you will get the same things. There is Plant Biotechnology by Hans Walter, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology of Plants by Buchanan, Theory and Problems of Biochemistry. So in case you want to go for the numerical parts or the um, calculation based questions on biochemistry, you can refer that. And in case you have less time, then you can also refer instant notes in biochemistry by Haynes and Hooper. Next unit in line is unit 234. So there are some common books, two stocks of cell biology, three 
molecular biology four again goes to some aspects of cell biology like cell signaling cell communication cancer so there are pretty good books for these units you can select any one which you have studied in your uh, graduation and post graduation doesn't matter actually because these are act equally good all of them uh, and one option is carp gerald carp cell and molecular biology concepts and experiment another one is by robert e cell and molecular biology then you have cooper molecular approach by geoffrey cooper and uh, yeah this goes into a lot more detail bruce alberts so in case but then it's a very good book the informations are uh, are really suitable for part c analytical questions cell biology by c b pawar in case you want to go for it or you have studied again this alberts then uh, wayne and lewis world of the cell and another book which i recommend is lordish so either you go for carp or you go for lordish if you want to go for more detail you can go for bruce alberts then you also have uh, the molecular biology by david p clark you have weaver also that is also a good book you can refer but try to stick to just one or two books don't try to uh, read the same things again and again from different different books that doesn't make make any sense okay and uh, if you want to go for some instant notes in molecular biology you can refer turner and maclennan also there is the theory and problems by stansfield next is microbiology this is a segment which you get in the second sub unit it's only a part of it yeah there are again some standard reference books microbiology by prescott by pelczar and by uh, the means brock biology of microorganisms so any of these is good actually and then you have tortora also again you can refer to any one of these that will be sufficient if you don't have time you can go for baker instant notes for 4e apart from the cell biology aspects in this unit you have the immunology also covered so as we all have heard about it qb is the gold book for immunology and apart from that you have riots essential immunology also if you have any one of them that will be sufficient you also have abbas for immunology and in case you want to Uh, you want to have something try something else then you can go for pinchuk book or lidart next is developmental biology which is unit 5 again there is a gold book for this gold standard for this which is by scott f gilbert yes most of the concepts at least 80% of the questions they will be asked from the concepts which are there in the book and in fact the syllabus is also framed in that way yeah the plant aspect will not be covered over here because this is uh, dealing with only animals and same is with the case of the wolpert book so there is another book called as principles of development by wolpert here also it is mostly animals only in case you want to go for plants you have to go for ties and ziger which i am also talking about in unit 6 so there you have the development also mentioned uh for plant development you have to refer those this is only for the animal development book for unit 6 as i mentioned plant physiology by zegger and lincoln ties that is a standard book that most of the students refer this is also one standard plant physiology by ross and salisbury the mechanisms of the processes involved in plant uh, whether it will be metabolism or uh, uh, respiration or whichever aspect uh, the css syllabus covers regarding the phytohormones everything is explained very well in these two books apart from that you also have plant biology by stern biology of plants by raven is also a good book plant pathology in case you have to study some aspect of it agrios and if you want to go for indian author plant breeding principles and methods by b d singh then plant biology instant notes by lacken evans can also be referred in case you are lacking time next is unit 7 which is animal physiology again you have some very good books on this which are referred by most students and biotechnicians gannon's review of medical physiology yes this gives you a, a detailed concept of all the physiological systems of animals that are mentioned in your csi syllabus human anatomy and physiology by graf is also there animal biology institute notes by jord 
and essentials of animal physiology by rastogi this is again uh, easy easy language if you want to follow and another very good book for medical physiology is gaiten so gaiten and ganong's are the most standard but apart from that you can also refer rastogi as well principles of anatomy and physiology by derickson uh, totter and derickson and apart from that you also have graf and palmer human anatomy and physiology again as i'm giving you more options they are going for more detailed concepts and uh, maybe an unnecessary at the csi level but yeah the ones which i am highlighting those are helpful for the exact sufficient amount required for your csi exam preparation human physiology institute notes by maclaughlin and principles of animal physiology by moise and schlut genetics yes again there are lot of good books in genetics one which i personally recommend is snustad and simons principles of genetics even gene entire series is good okay but snustad and simons they will be having uh, very good illustrations apart from that uh, even primrose that is for mostly gene manipulations genetics yes benjamin piers even this is a very uh, interesting book concept of genetics yes clug and cummins that is also very good book and uh, genetics by elizabeth jones and daniel hart hartel and jones is also a known book tamarin is again a popular book in genetics so all of these cover the basic concepts the principles and uh, the sub units which are mentioned in your genetics unit in csir all these books cover so you can refer actually refer any one of them right analysis of gene and genomes by hartel and rivolo and also if you want to go for indian author genetics by bd singh but yeah start with the um, foreign author ones because yes the illustrations are much better and they are much organized books so better you can go for the ones which i am highlighting yeah unit 9 you have one book called as taxonomy a text and reference book by richard e blackwelder and uh, that will give you about the classification it's a small unit uh, but yeah sometimes regarding taxonomy some things are asked so you can refer this book ecology also has many beautiful books one of them which are used uh, highly um, like most of the time it is odum which is fundamentals of ecology apart from that you have ecology principles application by chapman and riz then one more good book is smith and smith elements of ecology so whatever details you need because it's more of a theoretical chapter so with illustrations these two books are really very informative basic ecology by odum and ecology theories and application by peter styling ecology and environment by pt sharma so that's what your options are for unit 10 coming to unit 11 again there is a standard book which is evolution by strickberger and evolution handbook by vance ferrell evolution by ridley evolution by fituma and animal behavior and evolutionary approach by john alcock theory of evolution by dawkins and maynard organic evolution by rastogi so out of all this you can uh, refer ridley you can refer strickberger even vance ferrell also can be useful to you what about applied biology yes it contains many different kind of topics so you have a combination of books for example the genetic engineering principles you have to go for genomes by t a brown and then the fermentation part you can go for uh, stanbury principles of fermentation technology whitaker and stanbury whitaker is the name of the book commonly referred by all for plant concepts you can go for plant breeding principles and methods by bd singh and uh, there is environmental biotechnology by evans and furlong because it's a combination of many different sub topics even there is tissue culture so for tissue culture you can refer uh, rajdhan mk and some parts of industrial microbiology is also a part of it for that you can refer to casida okay so all this will be uh, concepts which are required for unit 12 also there is plant tissue culture by satyanarayan so either mk rajdhan or satyanarayan any one of them you can refer unit 13 again consists of many different concepts but however these books what i'm referring is uh, the ones which cover the maximum portion of it that is your uh, genetic engineering recombinant dna technology and your techniques that is analytical techniques right so one book is molecular cloning 
a laboratory manual by Sambrook and Russell. Uh, but although this is main, much practical knowledge, Sambrook and Russell, they will give the protocols in that book. But if you want to know about the concepts, then you can refer T.A. Brown. So this is the gold standard for this unit 13, RDT part, gene cloning and DNA analysis. And um, yeah, you also have DNA technology by Alcamo. And again, this is very good book for that RDT purpose. Principles of Gene Manipulation and Genomics by Primrose and Twyvon. Discovering Genomics, Proteomics, Biomics by Campbell, Molecular Bio Biotechnology by Glick. So Glick is also RDT, uh, DNA, RDT technology by Glick is also a very good book. And even Campbell, Bioinformatics Campbell you can use. And for the techniques and all you can use Upadhyaya and Upadhyaya. Biophysical Chemistry Principles and Techniques by Upadhyaya. And another book is there for these techniques which is Wilson and Walker. Okay, so these both books are equally good. Upadhyaya and Wilson Walker, all the histochemical techniques, immunological techniques, phys uh, physical techniques, whatever is there in your syllabus, these books are going to cover it, right? Apart from that, CSI Net Life Science Study Material is also there by Biotechnica, as you would all know. So yes, one is Concept Light, which consists of around 100 flowcharts on 100 important topics of CSI Net exam. But these are more of revisers. Yes, you have to refer the standard books, you have to attend the classes Biotechnica provides. Then only you will be able to perfectly revise from these topics. Because first time if you are looking at them, you might face here and there some obstacles to understand the concepts because these are mainly for uh, revision and recollecting better in the exam, right? Then you have uh, Conceptica actual book also. There are more flowcharts will be there. This is just the light version. So as you can see, memory retention, quick recall, short notes, it will be provided in that way. Concept uh, wheel book is also there, which is giving you uh, informations on a particular topic in the form of a wheel, a colorful wheel. So colors help you retain better and concept table will be uh, differentiating between important topics such as oxidative phosphorylation or oxidative photophosphorylation or maybe between hydrophobic molecules, hydrophilic molecules like that. Okay. Apart from that, you can also take help of a uh, quick net reviser or uh, AIMNET series, they are the question bank series. Um, premium study material is also available uh, for the students who are enrolled for the classes. Toughnet question bank is there. Then e-learner, the study portal is give, uh, is present. Conceptica flowchart book, even lecture DVDs or uh, memory flashcards. So all this you can take help and definitely the CSI net classroom coaching for six months. So these will all help you in your preparation forward. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in the comment section whether you liked it or not. Thank you everyone.